Hello everyone, Corn here and welcome to my channel. I had done a video some time ago about vintage handkerchiefs. <laughs> Thought y'all would get a kick out of I found this at a thrift store. Isn't that gorgeous, the work in that? I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I thought I'd put it under the tree. And remember I had said that I knew I had some more because I knew that I had this piece here to put them in. And I was quite upset that I couldn't find it. And evidently, I had placed it in my uh, linen closet, but way down under <laughs> other items. So we're going to see these for the first time together for me in a couple of years, um, it's been. And let's go through them together. Now I know that there are quite a few white ones here at the bottom. I remember placing them in my handkerchief bag. And it starts with, because I love embroidery work, white on white, and some of these need to be, I'll tell you that right now, need to be re-laundered. Because um, I, I, you know, wash and launder them right after I get them. So this one being, look how delicate this is, being the little butterfly and roses. This one being, look at the work on this, y'all. Look at that one. Isn't that lovely? Then this one, and these are all from thrift stores. A couple of them I got on eBay, but it was like 15 years ago, guys, when I used to do eBay. <laughs> because I could get a box of vintage linens and I know some of them were just so wonderful and some of them weren't, but you know, they were worth the money if you could get something so beautiful such as this, you know? Look at this one. Oh, wow. Isn't that sweet? With a taupe. Whoops, and see that needs to be, right. you know, I need to iron, wash and iron this one again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the lace on that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, that's so pretty. Together. This one needs to be ironed also. I did not place it in the bag properly. See that's flipped up there. Isn't that a gorgeous color? <laughs> this one's sweet. Look at that one. Isn't that sweet? If you like vintage, I know there are some people who say yuck to vintage, and I understand. It's, it's never been me, but um, I, even when I was young, um, I liked vintage items because of the women in my life. They, um, they taught me the value of handwork a long, long time ago when I was little. Oh, mercy, look at that one, y'all. Look at that. Oh, stunning. Just stunning. <laughs> Like that. Isn't that something? And look how see-through, you know, those fibers are. Oh, this is just precious. Look at that. Just precious. Precious. Oh, mercy. 
thirsty. And then this one's done on machine. Here we go. And that's sweet, sweet bouquet. Oh my word. I wish you could feel this one, y'all. Mm. Look at this. Look at that. And look at the little tiny stitches. Oh my goodness. Oh, it feels so good. And for those of you who don't like white on white, or cream on white, or taupe on white, we have <laughs> some pink roses and tiny pink rosebuds all the way around. Let's do this for these guys. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Ugh. It just makes me Little pink rosebuds, just, I don't know, just brings out and oh, factor in me. <laughs> and this one done on machine, but still gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And now we're going to get into some blue. Oh, that's the only one on there, so I can hold it like so. And these are little violets, y'all. A little bouquet of violets, which remind me of my grand my maternal grandmother. Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that sweet? That's so sweet. Look how thin this is. So beautiful. And then Lily of the Valley bouquet with a bow around it. Look at that. And oh, okay, with this one, you're going to get to the larger one and the smaller one with the same design. And then look at the look at the scallops around here. Isn't that sweet? And a little bouquet here also with teeny tiny. Oh wait, this is, oh I know this one. I remember this one. This is, um, oh boy, my French. I had it in high school. Look, this is, you see the stain here? That is from the price tag. Um, when I got this, it still had the price tag on it. And it did say France, I think, on that one. So let's open this up fully. I'm standing behind the camera so you all can get a closer look because if it were me, I would want a closer look. And then this one. This one, the threads um, around the border aren't super happy. Uh, same makers. And that goes all the way around. No, I'm wrong. <gasps> Look, guys. It goes three on three corners. Oh, wow. All right. I'm not too familiar with that pattern. You know? I'm used to them either going, you know, two sides or all the way around. Look at this one. Or oh, one, like this. Yeah. So when you would fold it, like so, and then like so and so, and place it in your belt here. You would have that, which is gorgeous. And this next one's interesting. I remember trying to get that uh, sticker. It's the adhesive that gives them that stain. I remember trying to get that out and not being able to. It wasn't a lot of fun. And look at this one, y'all. Look at the work on that. 
It's a little teeny tiny red one. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Isn't that something? And then we have this one, and this is only on the one corner. Very spring like. Um, I thought this was gorgeous, even though there's no one. There is one person in my family with an H. I apologize for that. Oops, sorry. And I just thought that was so lovely. So pretty. Look at the color of this one. It's celery. Look at that. It needs to be washed and re-ironed too. Look at the work on look how tiny y'all. Mm, little basket of flowers. Oh boy, with the Valentine's coming up in a few months. <laughs> Although, like I always say, oops, I gathered two there. Hearts are for every day, aren't they? And look at the scallop. Oh, look at the, the other end of this one. Oh, isn't that precious? Oh, that's darling. <laughs> that is so, so thin. The little red scallops. And then we have this one. Oh, this is just applique on there, y'all. And again, I need to rewash and iron because this needs to be placed back. And then the pink thread around the whole thing. Look at this one. So delicate. Look at that. And then this one has the pink lace just on the corner. This one, look at this lace, y'all. Ooh. Look at that, isn't that lovely? So pretty. Oh, this one's sweet. Look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. This one, look at the ruffle around it. Look at this. Well, it's only ruffled on the corners. Look at that. <laughs> and the um, bow is facing this way. Embroidery work. Oh, I like this one. This sweet, sweet little pink roses and rosebuds. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. I've gone back to yellow and this time with accents of purple and lavender. And it's just on that one side. A little blue and white with some beautiful lace on the edge. I think a lot of you all who drop by and visit me when I'm showing vintage hankies love the lace as much as I... Oh, two. Whoop. Where do you see the next one? Three. And there's two of these. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? I think these came in a box set, if I'm remembering correctly. There's two of those as well. And then they... Look at this precious one. Ah! With the basket. Now, see? See, it is just attached right here. See that? 
a basket and then some of the flowers, three of the flowers. And yes, there's a tiny hole in that one, but if you're like me, I don't care. I don't care about that. And then the last one is a gorgeous, gorgeous green. And that's, oh wait, I have more. I thought I placed some more down here that I didn't remember doing. Hold on. <laughs> then we have a blue applique rose. Look at this work here. And that's only on the one side. Then we have an orchid. Look at the orchid, y'all, on the one side also. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? We also have carnations. Look at the pink carnations. Aren't they lovely? And then we have a yellow scalloped edge. Well, white with yellow roses everywhere. Look at that, it's all over it. Then we have some butterflies. I know a lot of my subbies love butterflies. Look at that. And I like the little ones too, aren't they sweet? And then one large one. And then we have with the eyelet, the white with the uh, pink eyelet around it. Look at the, that beautiful pastel pink. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Then we have tulips. <laughs> Very, very pastel tulips. Oh, they're lovely. And again, I'm just showing you the one side because that's all that it is on. Then we have like a, a, a gray blue, like a slate blue. And look at that lace. Isn't that yummy? It, um, as you see, with age, it's, it's had a little rough time here, but Again, like I said, I don't care. I think it's lovely. I wish that I could, I mean, I wish they could tell their story. You know what I mean? That I could do some research and find out who they belong to. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous lace butterfly? And who did the work if it wasn't done, you know, machine done. And, you know, um, what they had them on with, you know what I mean, what outfit, and if it was in their purse, and or if it was on their person, you know. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those colors. And then last, this time really last, um, again, you can, you might be able to see there is a place right here where the sticker was. But um, this is machine done, but this is mother. And I think a lot of us, um, when we see vintage handkerchiefs, think of our mothers or our grandmothers. And if you're blessed enough to know your great-grandmother, isn't that lovely? And I would like to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.